Question 23, I've got an infrared spectrum of an organic compound. So what happens is if you shine infrared light through a sample um, of an organic compound, then the bonds in there um, stretch and bend and absorb some of that infrared light. Um, and as they absorb the light, then you get troughs produced. And depending on the bond, uh, they absorb different wave numbers of light as they bend and stretch. So we can identify this. Um, I'm just looking immediately. I've got a very, very wide, broad trough at around about 3,400. That indicates an alcohol. That's an OH group. If it were an OH of a carboxylic acid, it would be further to the right-hand side, uh, just under 3,000 wave numbers, though. So around about 3,400, I've immediately got an OH group. What could it be, then? I've decided it's not ethanoic acid. Otherwise, the OH group would be around about 2,800, 2,900. It'd be in the in the wrong. It's in the wrong position. Um, so I've got an OH peak here. So it could be hydroxy. That's another word for an OH or an ol or an ol. So I'm down to B, C, or D. Um, as I say, ethanoic acid. The OH will be somewhere here instead. It would be around about 2,800, 2,900, something like that. So I've got an alcohol at 3,200 to 3,030, 3,550. Um, I've identified that from my data book. So it's definitely an OH. It's definitely either B, C or a D. Now, what's the difference? I've got an own here. Um, I've got a carbon to oxygen double bond. Now, carbon to oxygen double bond gives a trough at 1,608 to 1,750. And there it is. So I've got a C double bond O. I've also, so the answer is B. I've got uh, a hydroxy and an OH group uh, along with a carbon to oxygen double bond. The answer is B. Um, I could also identify that the E in the carbon to carbon double bond wasn't there as well. This little peak here at around about um, 2,850 to 3,330 is a carbon to hydrogen. So that's, that's a carbon to hydrogen, which is going to be in the mall anyway. 24, the heat release when one gram of ethanol, MR4600, goes complete combustion is 29.8. What is the heat produced, uh, released by each molecule in joules when ethanol undergoes, in, uh, undergoes complete combustion? Well, first of all, let's take it one step at a time. I've got a mass and I've got an MR. So let's work out the number of moles of this ethanol. Moles is mass divided by MR. Mass in grams, 1 divided by the MR of ethanol is 46. It's given you, so it's given you a clue, is 0.0217 um, moles. Now, 0 .2, 0 0.0217 moles gives out 29.8 kilojoules. Um, so, 1 mole, if I divide the 29.8 by 0 0.217, I'm going to work out how many kilojoules of energy would be given out if I had a whole mole one whole mole um, and that's in kilojoules now this value needs to be in joules so i want to try and get it in joules because it says in joules there so to get kilojoules down into joules then i'm going to multiply by a thousand so multiply by a thousand 1.37 times 10 to the 10 to the 6 um, and then it wants to know per molecule i've got um, Avogadro's constant is the number of molecules in a mole and I want it for just one of them so I've got to divide by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 to work out the, the energy given out by just one molecule and it comes out as 0 0.228 times 10 to the minus 17 or 2.28 times 10 to the minus 18 which is answer A.